Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more PGA Tour 2K21. And of course we've got you today is a, it's a bit of a somber one. This is called the John Bishop Memorial. Now, John Bishop was a member of the community who passed away uh, this month. And Big Cat 023 has dedicated this course to him. So we're going to give it a play, give it a bit of attention, get it out there. And what I'll do as well, there's a little bit of a write-up on the HB forums. I'll put a link in the description if you want to head over there and uh, show your condolences or whatever. Some of you will probably know the name. I mean, I didn't know him personally. I've never talked to him, but I did know the name his, um, game, from his gamer tag, which was a dopey puddy. And what it says here um, from Big Cat was a par 72 with the firm greens, 165, three tees, red, white, blah, 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 in honour of dopey puddy, a PS friend from the UK who just loved playing this game. He passed away this month. Not a day went by that I didn't see John online playing with his good friend Tim Repeat. Hope I did him justice and I hope you enjoy playing John's course. So we're going to jump in. Let's have a look at the settings. Everything's on default. Fair is a firm. Green's a firm. Green speeds, medium, fast, time of day and overcast. We are going to be playing off the go tees. 7,238 yards and let's get into it. Now, there was another bit down here from Timber Pete. Who, as you said, that first little bit there was uh, Timber Pete was his friend. And I'll read that out as well. Uh, while we have a little look around, of course. So this is from Timber Pete. Uh, this is really a wonderful gesture, Wayne. Uh, Wayne is big cat. I know John would have been thrilled to have a course dedicated to him by one of his favourite designers. I can remember John and I played one of your very first designs way back and saying something like this guy shows some real potential. Well, all these years later, we both thoroughly enjoyed playing all of your courses. I would get a WhatsApp message from John during the day telling me that Wayne had published a new course and I knew that we would be playing it that evening. John did love playing this game, but I think what he really loved was making people smile and laugh. All done through the party chat on the PS4. If I ever had a bad day at work, or just dealing with life in general. I always got my spirits lifted that evening when I got to spend time online chatting and playing golf, snooker, MLB the show, or pool, or whatever, with John. I miss him terribly, and I know I'm not the only one. Thanks again, Wayne. Good job on the course. Everyone should give it a play. It's outstanding. Pete, uh, R.I.P. John, my friend. Yeah, that's why I, I just want to give it a bit of attention. Get it out there. Get people to play it. Show the the, the respect. Uh, show the condolences. Again, I'll put a link in the description to the HP forum post if you want to head over there. But some of you will know the name. As I said, I didn't know him personally, but um, it's his gamer tag that I recognised. Don't be pretty. So, yep. Yeah. And you never know, HB might put on the suggested list on the front page of the the, the course listings, hopefully. I'm sure they did that with um, Divot Maker. Uh, I've still got, actually, got him on my friends list. He passed away, oh, it was about two years ago now, I think. Another very valid member of the, the community. It's a sad day when we lose somebody from the community. The thing is, with a golf game as well, it's kind of... I know you get a lot of young people playing it, but it is a little bit of the older generation that play, play it as well. I mean, I'm in my 50s now. I don't know, I know some people are 60 and 70 year old that play this game. So if you are playing this game for years, you, it is going to be sad because you are going to lose some people. And of course, you're going to lose them to other things as well. I mean, a lot of you know that uh, my, my father in law, the guy that got me into golf over 30, over 30 years ago, he passed away. Oh, a week and a half ago now, and we've got his funeral on the 25th of this month. So, yeah, a little bit of a somber moment playing this course, just to remember the dopey puddy. So, we've just had a little look around there. I've just read that out. We're going to get onto the course and get this played. Okay, 438 yards, 18 feet up. So, I think we are just going to stick with the three wood here. That might actually run out, you know. So I think, ooh, 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 ooh. yeah, tell you what, let's just go with the three wood. Oh, it's a big fast. And I'll try and refrain from using the, the word I usually do when I hit a bad shot. <laughs> okay, 178 and 12 feet up. So that is playing 182. Now, somebody did mention that he did watch some of my videos. So as I said, just show him. Show my respects. Get this course out there. Get people seeing it. 
and bring it to the attention of the community. Oh, that's a massive slow. That's going to be just... Oh, hold on. That actually might reach the green. And it looks like it's sloping down towards the pin. Oh, that's pacey. That is pretty pacey. That's yeah, still going. <laughs> wow. Okay, what do we have here? 15 feet, 2 feet up. And that should do, and we should be able to pick up the par here. Ooh, that was a bit pacey as well. Not a bad start, par. Okay, what do we have here? 405 yards. Oh, I reckon we'll be able to cut this corner here. Oh, oh dear. That should be okay, actually. Yeah, that's going to be fine. And what I've done as well, guys, uh, out of respect for John, I've actually turned the monetization off on this video. It doesn't seem right um, putting ads and all that on it. Now, I'm not sure if YouTube actually just throws ads on the beginning of uh, videos anyway, but I've actually, uh, well, not just yet, but when I publish it, I will turn all the monetization off for the video as well. Okay, 102, 17 up, so it's playing around about 108. 107, let's bring it back just a touch there. Pitch. Ooh, yeah, pitch should be alright. Oh, get the perfect. You little beauty, get in there. Oh, that worked out not too bad. Oh, nasty looking putt though. Let's see how my putting stroke is doing today. That blooming line again, but I got it. That putting stroke has. I really had to start just looking at my controller, just making sure my thumb is like horizontally right across the top of it. Or I end up with a like a, a banana shaped putting stroke. Yeah, I don't do that on my irons, I don't do it in my woods on my driver. It's just putting. Okay, 206, 11 feet up, so it's playing around about 210. Yeah, I think we should be good with the four iron here. Tell you what, let's put a little bit of angle of attack on it. Uh oh. Hey, I felt that one straight away. Might still be on the green though. No, just over to the left hand side. Okay, we'll go with the pitch here. Again, slight fast. Come on, hold up, hold it. Oh, we might be getting a bogey here. That looks like it's just caught a bit of a slope. It's going to be a big right to left break on this, it looks like. Ooh, not good. Come on. Oh, no, didn't hit it enough. Didn't he have the legs? So that is going to be a bogey and take us back down to evens. Okay, right, come on. Par five. Oh, that is not bad. Now look at that swing. Why can't my putts be like that? I, think it's, I wonder if it's down to the, the speed of how uh, you follow through as well. Because I tend to, like, with my putts, I push, I pull back really slowly and just push forward. We're going to have to try a few different methods just to try and sort it out, to be honest. Okay, a little bit of a slope right to the left here. So we should be able to hopefully get up onto the green. Oh. See, I'm buying my tongue. <laughs> I can do it. Right, splash up. I'm going to try this again. Tried it yesterday. Now, how is that working? You see, did you... Unless it was only in... No, it can't be just in societies. I tried this in the society match yesterday with the pitch. And it wouldn't let me use the pitch out of the bunker. It would let me use the flop and the splash. I even tried it a couple of times, putting it back. But it wouldn't let me use the pitch out of the bunker, but it is now. That is very strange. So I'm going to bring it all the way back. I was wondering if they put a little sort of ninja update into the golf club there. 
but you can use it now. Oh, we're getting perfect. Get in now. That should roll up, actually. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Do you know why I still haven't even looked at the green speeds? What are the green speeds? Because they are pretty slick. They must be pretty firm as well. That rolled on quite a bit. 166, that's not that bad. It must have been all the way back. Yeah, I think there's a big slope there. I must have caught the slope. Okay, come on. Let's see if we can get the birdie. Ooh. I did it. I did it again. That would have been absolutely bang on. And then I moved it. I just moved it that couple of inches again. Always go with your gut feeling. Always go with your first instinct. And that would have been a birdie. I stopped. Moved that a couple of more sort of inches to the right. Okay, right. Yeah, we should be good with the five wood here. Oh, oh hoo, hoo, that's a massive fast again. Oh, we're right under this tree. I hope we don't hit the branches on the way up. Now, I'm going to change that to a pitch. Back down to the sand wedge. Bring it all the way down. And let's see. 92 to 97. It should be okay there. Still hitting. Pretty big fasts. I think it might be time to do another recalibration, I think. Oh, come on. This could be another bogey here. Both on par threes as well. Oh, just skim that edge on the right hand side. It might even be a double bogey. <laughs> come on. It is. Damn. Double bogey. Not good. Not good at all. Come on. Let me see if we pick up a couple of birdies. It's the greens. The greens are killing me these days. They really are. Oh dear. Yep, I definitely think I'm going to have to recalibrate again. That is just a terrible swing. My tempo is way off. Okay, 117, 14 up, uh, 72-79%. Let's go up a few clubs. Tell you what, let's go with a normal shot. Bring that back, yeah, to about there maybe. Still slight fast. Oh, he's put it right over the back. That's just going to trickle off the back end of the green now. That's going to leave the chip up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ooh, I'm struggling. Massive slow there as well. Right. Straight across. Come on. Yeah, that's better. That's quite a bit better anyway. Still kind of a little push to the left there at the top of the swing. Okay, par five. Yeah, par five. <laughs> par three. Let's hope we don't. And get another bogey on this one. Okay, 183, 10 up, so it's playing around about 186. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now, if I do hit this like I normally do, 100, 102%, it should still go on the green. Oh, we get the perfect. Nice. Just got on the green there. But again, look at that, it's got quite a bit of roll to it. And that is not a bad looking putt. It's got hardly any turn on it at all. Oh, that's pacey. Come on, drop. Yes, nice. Back down to plus one. Oh, I do. There we go. Pretty straightforward, this one. Oh, the big slope. There's quite a bit of room down there. I'm hoping it's going to kick. Come on, kick left for me. Oh, it didn't. So I was going to leave the pitch up onto the green. Pretty tough course. Come 
Come on, get up there. Get up. Yeah, the green speeds are oh, that fast. It must be the firmness. Because that ball is rolling quite a bit. Oh, come on. That's better. Oh, is it just missed on the left hand edge? Oh dear. Tell you what, that looked quite nice. Let me just. Oh, not that. There we go. And let's turn this off. Because we always need a good um, screenshot for the thumbnail. Let's have a look. Because I'd like the looks of that, that house or the, the pub or whatever in the background there. Yeah, there we go. How's that? Let's get down a little bit. Get the crowd in a little touch as well. Yep, that'll do it, I think. Right. Oh, this is for par. Come on. Oh. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. That's another bogey. <laughs> Back to plus two. Right, on to the ninth. Par five. Let's see if we can do some damage here. Come on. Pretty short par five. That will do lovely. So we should be able to go on the green for two here. Three hundred and twelve yard drive, not too bad. Okay, one ninety seven seventeen up. So that is playing around about two oh three. One eighty nine with a five iron. Yeah, that should be okay, I think. Uh oh. No! You can feel it straight away when you do a massive fast or a massive slow. You really can. But hopefully, get this close. Maybe pick up a birdie. Come on. Get the perfect. So that should bite. Come on. Come on. Oh! <gasps> That's still rolling past quite a bit. Yeah, very, must be very firm greens. Come on, let's see if we can get the birdie here. Nope. Oh, look at that putting stroke again. That's terrible. That's better. <laughs> so we get a par now. Okay, hole 10. Right. That wind has dropped right down though. Bit of a fast, I don't think that's going to cut the corner. That might actually reach the bunker. Oh, the crowd go. Oh, 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 we made it. <laughs> 306 yard drive. Just cut that corner now. Okay, right. 197.14 up. We should be good with the four iron now. That's not too bad. Might be a bit past the pin here though. Massive kick that, and it's just going to trickle off the back. I think that would be pretty tough to hold that green, though. Oh, slow. So we'll pick up the par here. I hope we can pick up a couple of more birdies then finish under par. Right, let's just bring that in a little bit from the left. Oh, we hit a boomer. Get in there. Pitting. Is it going to reach the green? Is it going to reach the green? A little bit of an upslope there, but it might just trickle. No, it didn't. <laughs> but let's just go for a little chip shot here. That should roll down. Uh oh, that's not going to stop, is it? Uh oh. Oh my goodness, that's ooh, that's tough. I should have had a better look at that actually. Maybe played it way back. Go on, go on. Yes, get in there. 
And we pick up a birdie. Back to plus one. What a lovely little chip, that one. Yeah, look at the slope on the green. That's why it went off. I didn't even look at that when I played that pitch down. Or that, that first chip. Okay, 12th hole. I don't think we're going to get up past that corner to cut it. Oh, yes, get in there. Another perfect off the tee. Nice big drive as well. 319 yards. Okay, 111, 8 down. Uh, it's playing around about 108. 90, nope, nope, nope. Let's just bring that back just a touch. Big downslope run as well. Bit of fast. It's pulling way left. Is it going to hold the green? I don't think so. No, that is off the green to the left. So again, another chip shot here. I <laughs> didn't want to take any chances there. I pulled that way back. So we'll take the par. Okay, 182. So it's playing around about 186. Six iron. Yeah, it should be okay. Let's actually bring that in from the right hand side here. Oh, big slope. We are on the green, and that is one massive putt. And what have we got? 57, one foot up. Okay, come on, slow down. Oh, that's not too bad. We'll take that one. Come on, there we go. We're still on what? Plus one, 14th hole. Right, oh, ho, ho, that is dodgy going to the driver there. So I think I'm actually just going to pull this back to the three wood. Nice, perfect, beautiful, get in there. Great view off the tee there as well. Okay, right, 74, that's uh, 77. Oh, another slow. Oh, get up, stay on the green pass. Yep, stay down. So another tough putt though. Okay, 44, two inches down. So quite a big turn on at this one. Again, look at that massive, look at that putting line. It's like a blooming banana. Wow. Misjudged that one quite a bit. Okay, another par. It's going along a little bit steady here after that. What was that? That last bogey we had was on the 8th. So we'll do not too bad. Let's just hope we can maybe pick up another birdie or two. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Do not hit it slow. Do not hit it slow here. Come on. Oh, you little beauty. Get in now. Lovely. Oh, that was a tough tee shot. I should have just aimed it straight down the middle and went for the bunker. Oh, changed over to a three wood, to be honest there. That was dodgy taking the driver there. Okay, 112, 14 up. Yeah, yeah, should be okay, I think. Ooh, bit of a slope, it's just off the mark. Yeah, that's okay. Come on. Not a bad looking little putt, actually. Oh, and 
it's missed on the right hand side on the low side oh okay 16th right run that horse here come on oh we get another perfect off the tee nice one so I hit a few nice drives Nice big drive as well, 319 yards. Okay, 169, so it's playing around about 174. With a 7 iron, we should be good. Oh, no! Oof, I definitely, yep, I'm going to re recalibrate after this round. I mean, way too many fasts. Especially on the irons and the little pitches and things like that. Let's just bring that back. Yeah, I even tried to kind of slow that down a little bit there and I still hit fast. Turn in. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, I'm not going to do it now, am I? That's another bogey. Plus two, two holes to go. Got a par five though. Right, come on, let's see him hit another perfect. Oh sh! No, nope. that is in the water. <laughs> oh, I really had to bite my tongue on that one. There. Oh, I was about to say something. Oh, oh dear, dear, dear. dear. Hey, where's a tough little course? This is, it really is. It's the greens, the greens are. Whew. That's a nice looking hole. 17th green complex. Ooh, pitch, okay. I want to make sure I get on the green here. Again, a fast. Oh. Right, yep, that's a beautiful looking hole, that one. I do like that. Now, where would be the best? Let's try from just over here. Actually, looked quite nice from where it first started. Yeah, about there. Yeah, that'll do a thing. Oh, this is, oh, this is for a par. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, this is going to be another bogey. Is it turning? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? <laughs> oh, that's going off. Damn. You have got to be kidding me. Get in. Oh. Oh my god. Double bogey again. Plus four. Ooh. A five and a seven. Wow. Ooh, par five. <laughs> Just a slight fast out, that should be okay. You're gonna kick right, come on, kick right. And it has, nice. Come on, let's get a bogey on the last hole. Par five. Nice drive off the tee. Alright, come on. Five wood, three wood. Definitely gonna be the three wood, I think. fast kick 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 no it hasn't kicked just off the fringe that leaves the chip and hopefully a birdie putt 
Oh my goodness, look at that. That's going to slow down nice and we will get a birdie on the 18th. Hey! Wow, that is quite a tough challenge, of course. I really enjoyed that though. So there you go, guys. That is the John Bishop Memorial. And that is in honor of a dopey puddy. So give it a play, give it some love. Hit it with five stars as well. Try and get a handicap rating and get it out there. So again, guys, I want to say thanks for watching. I will put a link in the description. If you know Dopey Pretty, head over to the HP forums and give your condolences and whatever. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you again next time. And don't forget, stay safe.